Welcome back to Good Day Letta. Time is 944 and she discovered that being vegan doesn't mean giving up her favorite southern dishes. Food blogger and Atlanta native Janae Claiborne is here with a recipe, or actually a couple of them from her very first cookbook. It's called Sweet Potato Soul and Janae, it's so yes. good to have you here today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm excited. Welcome to good day. Thanks. Let's first start by by talking about mm -hmm. what exactly is vegan? What can you have? What can you not? Right. So, when you're vegan, you're eating an abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains, legumes, and we abstain from animal products. So no dairy, no meat, no fish, but there's so much other stuff to eat. And mm -hmm. even you can make your favorite classic dishes like the soul food things I grew up on mm -hmm. vegan as well. Well, I think that's what can be intimidating for people who, you know, who hear this word vegan and hear what they're not allowed to have, but you're saying, hey, that doesn't mean you have to give up what you like. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. I thought that at first, but it wasn't until I really got in the kitchen and started playing around with food and coming up with these recipes that I realized. I can do this. Yeah, I don't yeah. have to give my favorite foods up. Yeah. No way. Yeah, I want to mention this too. So you decided to become vegan in your 20s. Yeah. Why did you make that decision? I'm always interested mm -hmm. to hear, you know, what led people to, right, to right. this. Right, right. So I was working at a vegan restaurant and exposed to amazing vegan food, people who are vegan for all sorts of reasons, health, environmental, and the ethical aspect. And for me, it was fully ethics. I love animals. I didn't want to contribute to harming them anymore. And I realized that the food is amazing mm -hmm. and I can do this. So. Mm -hmm. Now I'm vegan for all the reasons. Love for it. Sure. Love it. You have a cookbook. Yes. Lots of dishes. What are you making today? We're going to be making the cauliflower fried chicken. Okay. Fried chicken. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I actually like to use vegetables in place of animal products rather than meat substitutes like mock meats. Mock meats are great. They're really easy to use, but you can also use vegetables like cauliflower as well. Who knew? Who knew? Exactly. That you could make Fried chicken. Fried chicken. With cauliflower. With cauliflower, and yeah. it's super delicious. And so the thing is, <clears throat> your your brine and your batter is pretty much the exact same as it would be if you're mm -hmm. using actual chicken. The only thing I altered in this recipe was is that I'm using non-dairy milk, and instead of egg, I'm using cornstarch. And that helps keep it nice and crispy, helps the batter to stay on the cauliflower fried chicken, okay. and it's absolutely delicious. But the spices are pretty much the same. We have paprika in here, we have onion powder, garlic powder, all the things that you're already familiar with. I put yeah, a little Old Bay. To. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And one thing that is different, we're doing some nutritional yeast, which is a vegan, I mean, you can use it if you're not vegan, but it's a condiment that gives your food this nice, rich umami-ness, hmm. which you wouldn't get from cauliflower on its own. Um, so we're adding that just to add some more richness and depth to our cauliflower chicken. And then for our dredge, we have the non-dairy milk, some hot sauce, because I like it spicy. Okay. And some mustard, so we have- Whip like, that up. Whip it up, mm -hmm. make sure it's nice and combined. Same with your spices. And no, I'm gonna put some gloves on. Okay, it's gotta a have the little cauliflower, dirty. right? You gotta have the <laughs> you're cauliflower. Gonna, you're gonna. So you can actually do this also with mushrooms. I love huh. it with the mushrooms. It's super easy, super delicious, and they're super healthy as well. So I always like to do a double batter. So I'm just gonna use the my glove for the wet because it's so messy. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's nice and coated. Add it to your dry. Ah. Toss it with your dry hand because you don't want to mess up your hand, make sure you make sure you keep them separate. I'm smelling the spice. Right? Yeah, right? I do. And then I'm going to pull that guy out and put it right back in here. Okay. And then once again, cover it up. Cuz we need a double batter cuz it's so much tastier like that and crispy and Agree. It gets <laughs> nice and tender on the inside just like it's supposed to be, but you're using cauliflower, which is the Okay. fun and new thing. So go through this again and then and what's every, our next yeah, step? Yeah, and if you've ever made fried chicken, it's the same thing. Next step, drop it right into your hot oil. Mm -hmm. Same thing, you just happen to be using cauliflower in, in the inside. Huh. Yes, so we're gonna cook that up. That's our finished result. That's what it's oh, gonna look like, which is really good. I'm saying, right? Yeah, Seriously. Really good. Plus, I'm guessing you can eat a little more of it than yes. what you could with like traditional. You can. <laughs> now it's still fried, of course. That's true. But it is better. No cholesterol. No saturated fat. Yeah. Well, the oil, plenty of fat. You can but feel better about it. You feel That's better what we'll about it. You can feel Thank better about you. it. Thank so you have you. a few other things that are. We'll, we'll talk about yes. that while that's frying up. A few other things in your cookbook. What else did you bring? So we also have the collard greens here, which I mean, I'm from Georgia, so. I grew up eating all these things, and collard greens are one of my favorite things mm -hmm. to eat. Can't go wrong. No. Yeah. And so growing up, my grandmother always used smoked turkey neck in there. Instead of using the animal product to give it that nice smoky flavor and that richness, we used smoked paprika. 
tomatoes for the umami, and soy sauce. Soy sauce is the secret ingredient when you want depth, richness, good all that know. good stuff in your collard Never greens. Never would have thought to add those to your collard yes. greens. Okay, how about this? That is a peach cobbler. So that's on the little, that's a Ooh, healthier version. Fresh peaches. We're using a whole wheat pastry flour. Gives it that nice golden color. And for the sugar, we're not doing white sugar. We actually used coconut sugar. Huh. Coconut sugar has a lower glycemic index. It's super sweet. It's perfect to use in place of a brown sugar because it has a lot more richness and caramely depth to it. I like a lot of depth I in can all tell. my food. You know, I love it. I picked up on that. I really you know, have. You yeah. know. Yeah, so we're out of time, but giving us some great ideas on, on way that we can maybe incorporate some of this, even if we don't yes. want to go completely vegan, but exactly. incorporate this into our exactly. into our more cooking. plants. Yeah, Janae, thank you so much thank for coming you. in today. And our thanks to Random House for help coordinating today's segment. Janae Claiborne's cookbook, Sweet Potato Soul, is on sale now. Well, coming up next on Good Day, we have our pet of the day from the Humane Society of Cobb County.